So uh, I just wanted to demonstrate what happens. Uh, this is an accumulation of the tailings of these pails. You don't want to pour the entire pail through the filter because there's residue at the bottom. This is accumulated from several pails. Um, what you'll find at the bottom of this oil will really depend on what kind of food was cooked in it. Um, even the smell of the oil you'll find depends on what kind of food the restaurant was cooking. Um, this particular oil came from a seafood restaurant so it has a little bit of a seafood smell to it as well as batter for fish and chips. Um, sources of oil we'll talk about in another video. But um, Just so you're prepared, uh, avoid going dumpster diving. Dumpsters, water will get in, it's exposed to the heat, it's stored there for long periods of time, bacteria will start growing in it and it'll smell like there's a dead animal at the bottom. And um, So the sludge you just, you, if you make arrangements with the restaurant, you try and bring it back to their dumpster and just put it into their dumpster. Sometimes they, uh, they don't really mind about that because you're saving them a lot of money. Um, otherwise you try and find a uh, more convenient way to dispose of it in a local landfill.